So when we hire an employee uh, here, what happened by default, uh, this employee status is uh, assignment status, suspended uh, role eligible. Of course, if we want to change, it can be changed from here. Edit uh, correction. When we do the correction. What happened? It will overwrite the record uh, with this date, uh, whatever the date you have, effective start date. Right now, we are with the effective start date as 1st January 2021. No. So, what we have to do is so uh, while searching this record, select First January 2021. Means we are going to make this employees uh, active from 1st January 2021. Correction. We can choose any reason, not a problem. And change the assignment status is active role eligible. review button if we click review button then only we'll be able to find the submit button enabled and for submit Now we can find the status is active. But whenever we are hiring uh, by default, I don't want to be in uh, suspended status. Default, it should be active status and uh, uh, parole should be eligible. So how where do we configure is that we have to do the setup. Someone might have done that uh, suspended uh, status, default assignment status. Uh, let me configure that here from setup and maintenance. In setup and maintenance, uh, search for the task called uh, assignment status. Manage assignment status. Our system is showing that the space has been replaced with a new responsive page. Responsive page is nothing but which is compatible for desktop as well as for the smartphone. So the space, whatever you are going to open, this is flexible for both the devices. That's what we call as a mobility. Select assignment uh, statuses. Suspend no parole. That's one of the status. But this is not a default one. Okay. Assignment statuses. Suspend role eligible. Yes. Someone has configured this is default. One specified this is default. So I don't want to make this as a default assignment status. So let me set up this. We have already so so okay. Original status. Someone has created the status. Okay. Uh, we will restrict this only for a particular country. And I want to set active payroll eligible. This is default. Active 
roller itself. So that's what setup we have done. Let's see whether it's going to work or not. Uh, now we'll hire an employee. Here we have different uh, workers like a uh, pinning worker, contract employee, contingent worker, no, non worker, other details. So let's go for hire an employee here. Yeah, we'll take up this hiring process either for today. We can hire an employee for future dates also. And I'm mentioning that employee name is Mahesh Kumar. Now he's a clerk and he's working for Redwood City and we got development and other information. And he's not a manager and I'm going to assign the manager. So where do we assign the manager? Go down here. Here we can set the manager for any employee. So we got uh, an employee called uh, Sunil, Sunil Kumar. Select Sunil Kumar. Sunil Kumar is the manager. We can assign multiple managers here, of course. Uh, there might be uh, project manager, regional managers, resource managers, like that, uh, if required. So line manager is the basic, it's a basic line manager, which is required for all the uh, approvals and other uh, options here. Now, next button. That's how we will go for configure. Now we can see that uh, default, uh, we got assignment status here. By default, assignment status is active payroll eligible. Of course, if you want to change, we can change uh, right now. We can see that suspended, uh, that whatever we have done, it's not applicable now because that we configured only for Afghanistan country, not for United States. Right. That's a default assignment we'll get while hiring if you set up that for there. But of course, we can change. Yep. So last time what happened, we hired without checking. I thought of by default. Uh, generally, by default, active payroll eligible will be there. So it went into the suspended. Someone configured as. That's how we have to set uh, the default assignment status from our uh, FSM environment. Set up the maintenance environment. Now we hired an employee, Mr. Mahesh, and we also configured the manager for his, who is the manager, line manager, that we have configured here. Manager name has been updated or not. Mahesh Sampai. Mahesh Kumar. Is this? No. This is for India. Location. Where is this? Another. Yes. Here is Mahesh Kumar. 
and we can see that default assignment status is active. And I just wanted to check the manager name updated or not. Where do we find manager details? Here. This is how uh, we can set the default status as a default assignment status is active, payroll eligible, or any other statuses. Okay.